Hi, it's Kelly here, and I've got so much information, groundbreaking information for you that I am almost positive no one else has shared anywhere because I looked stuff up and they didn't even have the answers. Uh, but I'm going to connect some things for you that's going to make a tremendous difference, a life-changing differences in your life, potentially. Um, if, if you don't know who I am, I, you know, I, I wrote this book here, the, and uh, that's the book uh, translated into Russian. That's what they tell me anyway. And I'm the co-founder of Science Magic, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, and I'm the author of this book here, uh, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? And if you want information about that, it will be down in, on YouTube down below in the description where you can look up the title on titles on uh, Amazon. So let's get started. I want to talk to you about cilia in different places in your body. Turns out that there's cilia, I'm going to talk about two main places. There's cilia in your pineal gland, which is a tiny little gland here. This, you, if you're familiar with it, you know you would be knowing that it makes melatonin production. Well, it turns out that the cilia is involved in helping to make your melatonin, which is your sleep cycle. And, and as you've seen from my other videos, you know that the cilia is what moves the fluid, and it could be blood, because there's a lot of blood that flows through the pineal gland for its little size. It's very, very active, and it's, it's right at the base of the brain, in the middle, and so it's got a central role. So there may be other fluid in there too, I'm not sure, but this is moving. Without the movement, you're going to have stagnation, and then are you going to have adequate production of your melatonin? Well, we'll see. Uh, and I also found out, and this is recent that they, uh, people know about this, and very few know about it, your lymph system has cilia. So these cilia move the fluid. You know, they say the leg muscles move the fluid up, and surely they do. They squeeze there and it helps move the fluid up, but if the cilia is not working, you're going to end up with, the, with problems. So here we have two, two areas. You know, your, your lymph system is three times the weight of your blood vessel system. And just like in, in, uh, in your home, typically the, you know, the, the water that comes into your home and the water that goes out, say like in a toilet or a sink, well, where it goes out is three times the size. For some reason, we need to have a larger thing. So, so your, your lymph is extraordinarily important to your uh, health because it's moving fluid. If your fluid is not moving, it stagnates. So you could have stagnation in the lymph, and you could have stagnation in your, in your pineal gland, and I've talked about it in my other videos that I made yesterday um, about stagnation in the brain that caused stinking thinking. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, I like to say, it's giving you dirty thoughts. <laughs> but what, what it's really doing is giving you irritation and, and sluggishness of the brain. You know, when people, when people develop dementia, oftentimes they get angry easily. And, and it could be because they're irritated because their brain you know, they, they could partially think of something, but they can't quite get it. And uh, so, you know, it, it causes frustration. Frustration causes irritation. And irritation, obviously, you know, it's a whole cascade. Because when you, when you have a negative thought, your brain is going to make peptides. The negative peptides for your emotions, which will go down to your organs. So all your organs are going to be unhappy as well. So it's all a cascade, or a huge cascade from this little stuff. And if you watch my other video previous to this, you'll see how you can instantly fix it. And I mean instantly, because it's all operated by electricity. It's operated by uh, voltage, I should say. It, the cilia are operated by voltage. And I have seen it with my own eyes with an autistic child who was behind me in my car kicking the, the seat. His mother was holding him. He was eight years old. And, and uh, fortunately, we were stopped at a convenience store. And uh, his 
So I turned around and I had I had one of my little ones, these babies here, which, which are, are manually operated, and I held it to him, and you know, close to his to his nose, and within within two seconds he's calmed down. His mother was flabbergasted that he calmed down because she said he normally goes berserk when that happens. And he stayed calmed down. And so we're talking about parents being able to sleep at night because oftentimes autistic children have trouble sleeping. And this, these things I've shared with you, like I said in my previous video about sleep, uh, and it's all free. You go there and you find out. So let's get this out there. You know, I'm thinking that if we could get some people who, whose families have autism in the family or dementia in the family uh, to um, start using this, that it won't take long before it just catches on. And we don't know. You know, it could be, you know, the first 100 people just share it with another 100 people. We don't know. But then one of those 100 people is somebody who works in television or works at you know, or is well known or whatever, and they start talking about it, and then the next thing you know, there's 10,000 people doing it, and then from there it just catches on because, you know, if you get in between a mother and her autistic child, you better, it's like a mama bear and a cub. We can do this, we can, we can cause a, a shift in consciousness, and it's, you know, just with that one thing, because it goes through mountains, walls, and windows, we'll be having an effect on Everybody on earth feeling better, less irritated, and what have you. Now, you haven't heard this from anybody else, anybody, and yet it makes sense. You know, I talked to my personal physician, and he said, oh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, unfortunately, he was thinking, like, well, you know, if, you're gonna, if we're going to do this as a study, we'd have to have double blindness, that, and the other, and do blah, 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 blah. You know, and it would be very, very difficult and time consuming and pain in the butt, and he just wasn't willing to do that. But we don't need to do that. We don't need permission. All we need is mothers who are at their wit's end to get catch on to this. And it could start with a few. It could be that very first one who sees it, and, and we're off to the races. And we change the world at the speed of light. Imagine that. We can have gardens of Eden everywhere. People have written to me and tell me how their blueberries just poof, huge amount of blueberries or their plants, things like that. This helps so many things and we can do it instantly. So go, go watch my other previous video if you're not familiar with how, how this is done. And uh, be sure to subscribe because I come up with stuff like this on a frequent basis and YouTube will let you know um, about my next videos and, and you know you'll be thrilled because I'm giving all the stuff away for free except for my books did I mention my book uh, is there a question that heals instantly is there a question that heals instantly that's and also the doctor who cures cancer you take care and God bless